Hello YouTubers. So today I figured I've got a blade now. So I bought this one. This was a blade advertised quite cheaply, supposedly in excellent condition. Turned up, turned it on and it was fucked. Surprise, surprise. Anyway, rewired it. So far it's been absolutely perfect. Sweet as not. So it's been working lovely. Um, but that is why the side's missing. There's no sides on it because I've had it in pieces. Rewired the piston and that's all done now. So that's done. It's worked really well. I've got to admit, I did have a blade a couple of years ago. Um, sold it on because they were having issues that at the time that no one knew why they were breaking. But nowadays you've got the Facebook page like the Blade Repair Station. And the guys on there and the girls really know what they're doing. And they're fixing so many machines that are breaking. It's fantastic. So if, if you've got a problem now with a blade that's out of warranty and Beowulf won't help you then those guys are brilliant. So I've got to admit, massive respect. Thank you, Colin, for the help you gave uh, the missus. And yeah, it's working really, really well. So it's been running. I've had it since Thursday. And I thought, you know what? We we tried the video before with the Perfect Draft Pro. We showed that it is really accurate at keeping temperature. So it goes down to zero, it goes up to 12. And basically on that machine, it was working really well. So I figured, why not do the same with a blade? And I've already tried this, and I'll tell you what, I was surprised at this, because I always thought the blade was cooling to 2 degrees, and the beer was coming out of the nozzle at 3 degrees. But when I did this test on Thursday, it was actually quite surprising. So I caught it at the end of the chill cycle, so it's not chilling at the moment. So it it's what, it's the, the 17th today? So it's been a 30 degree day. And as you can see, it's sat, it's not in an ideal location, it's in a room where the sun's coming in. Um, you can see the curtains at the side, so that's blocking some of it. But I thought, let's give it a go, and we'll see what temperature the beer's coming out at. So, here is the sensor coming in from the side, look. It's like something out of Jaws. I'll never win a director's award for this sort of stuff. In fact, I can't even work out where the camera is, where is it? Oh, it's there, look. So what we'll do, see the room temperature at the minute is in the 30s so it's really warm and um, here's the blade machine the beer is cool it's down at the bottom it wasn't because it was absolutely buggered when I got it um, and then it's down to about three quarters empty so never had Desperados before it's actually really nice to be fair on the blade I was quite surprised so uh, fair play that's a, a good keg because this was it when I got rid of my blade I think it was like 60 quid a keg from France and it was out of date at that so it was really difficult to get hold of but you're here to see the scores on the doors. So down to 29.4. So in we go. Let's uh, pour some beer. I apologise, it doesn't need to be poured the best, does it? So let's see what happens to this thermometer. That's a dreadful pour, isn't it? But uh, let's pick this up and go in a bit closer. 7.8, 7.1, 6.4, 6.1, 5.4. Are we in the foam? I might have to pour a bit more. Oh, yeah, we're just into the beer. Here we go, look. 3.9, 3.5. Hopefully. Oops, apologies. I'm doing this one under. That's not working very well, is it? 3.5. 3.1. Yeah, interesting. So this is off the chill cycle. So this is off the chill cycle and it's at 3.5 and that's starting to increase. So we're up to 3.8. So actually, that beer has warmed up. So what I need to do is catch it when it's on the chill cycle, bugger. So I'm gonna abandon this one. Well, actually, no, I won't abandon this one because I can always do a video showing. So it's at 3.5 to 3.9. This is when it's not chilling, i.e. you can't hear the, uh, the refrigerator working. And then what I'll do is I'll do another one later once it's done the chill cycle and we'll see what difference that is. Um, sorry, I'm just nicking the end off the, uh, the beer off the end of that thermostat. So yeah, so, so we know now that the blade is pouring around three to three and a half degrees. So it's obviously warming up. It's not on the chill cycle. It's done its chill cycle. It's having its rest phase. And... Um, yeah, so 3.5, which isn't bad to be fair. The old perfect draft units were what? Three degrees, the Phillips? They were at three degrees. I've got to admit, I've had the 
the Pro, Perfect Graph Pro since November. Um, yeah, great machine. Pours great. Pours all the beers great. Um, got rid of the blade. I'm trying to think now. Probably about 18 months ago. So got rid of that 18 months ago. Uh, there was a few issues at the time with like the Moretti, the UK Moretti. Uh, the kegs were really fizzy, and uh, it was quite. I don't know. Well, I've got to admit, I don't know how widespread that was. To be fair, but there's now you seem to get a lot of people who seem to say they're getting loads of problems. You get people who are saying they've got no problems. So you never know with social media, really. It's quite difficult to tell the uh, the wheat from the chaff. And uh, yeah, let's just say never trust everything you read on social media. So yes, I will do another video when it's not on the chill cycle. Uh, sorry, when it is on the chill cycle and just finishing because I think that's actually quite surprising. But anyway, I'll see you next time. See you later. Have fun. Bye-bye. Hello again. Well, that worked out all right. I literally did that last video, and it went straight into the chill cycle, and it's just finished it. So, uh, bizarrely, it was really quick. I don't know if that's because there's not much beer left in the keg, but it's just finished the beer cycle. The, sorry, the chill cycle. It's gone through, fans on, chiller on, just done. So I thought, well, let's give it another go. <laughs> so it was what 3.1 wasn't it last time so i'm gonna do a better poll this time hopefully let's have a look is that recording it is so let's have a look you can tell i've just downed that in one because it called me out how quick it was so let's have a look so this is now pouring again it's not the best part in the world but it doesn't need to be let's have a look here we go look, that's enough beer <coughs> so let's get the thermometer out Turn it on. When the pump will go quiet in a minute. That's a sign I've nearly finished this desperado off. Let's have a look. In goes the old thermometer. Actually, you can't see this so well, can you? So let's have a look. So it's finished the chill cycle. Um, it was a really sharp, short chill cycle. That it's only on for about a minute, which I'm quite surprised at. But anyway, 8.8, 8.5, 8.2. 7.5, 7 7.1, 6 6.8, 6.0, 5.3. We're going to do bloody 3.1 again, isn't it? Hopefully the other day wasn't a fluke. Well, there is a bear in that way. Oh, no, here we go, 2.9. 2.5. Oh, it's going up at 2.5. So that's interesting. Because when I first got this machine going, the temperature probe went down to 1.9. So I guess for whatever reason, this is the so this is the newer 2021 refurb version blade. Uh, I don't know exactly what the differences are. To be fair, I know in the original blade it was a big black bowl, and then they brought out the blade plus, which is the internet connected version. So that is what the uh, the equivalent of the perfect draft pro so uh it wasn't temperature adjustable though <coughs> it was just well i don't know if i don't think it was it was just it gave you information stats like how long your keg's got um how many days what the temperature is blah 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 how much is left in it so on so on so on so so yeah it it could be that it chills it more when it's a fresh keg because this keg i don't know if you can see that yeah you should be able to see that i'll I'll take the camera in a bit. Let's try doing software zoom. Can you see that? Yeah, so the, the keg's down near the bottom. The temperature's down near the bottom. So it might just be that it doesn't put as much chilling into an empty keg. Because um, that is one thing that has really surprised me as well with this uh, this new 2021 blade. So it's got the, the silver cutouts in the bowl, um, like the Blade Plus. It, I've got to admit, I don't know internally what else has changed. So I had to rewire one of the pistons because one of the pistons, the, the wires melted. So I don't know what the hell the previous owner was doing. I don't know if a keg got locked in there and they were constantly activating it or whether it was just the cable got caught on the chassis. And um, Yeah, who knows? I've got to admit, I did add some tesser tape, it's called. It's what you use on car wire, harness, uh, wire harnesses. And I've put that in there and that should just take away some of the sharp ends where the wires run. Because what happens when your piston runs, the wires are moving. So if it's running over a sharp edge too many times, of course, it's just going to cut it like a pair of scissors. Um, so I don't know if that's some sort of design flaw or what. 
uh, the blades do tend to fail quite frequently but looking at the, the blade repair station that I mentioned earlier um, a lot of the problems are the temp sensors I think I don't know if that's a common problem uh, but I think that is the main problem with the blade it's just the sensors they use they just basically go bad and then you put a new sensor in and it works again it's like happy days um, yeah, I don't know. I've got, I've got to admit, I thought we were going to get a lower value on that one. So what I'll do is, obviously, this is with an empty keg. I'll take one for the team. I will finish this Desperados. Maybe not today. I've got the opticians tomorrow. Uh, and we, we'll sh we will see uh, what happens with a full keg. Because that full keg was down to 1.9 last time, which is really impressive. And the power usage was... I don't know if the power usage is the same on this 2021 refurb than what it is on the original blades, but I've got to admit, it, it sips power. It absolutely sips power, unlike some other systems that I won't name. Uh, but yeah, happy days. So I'm going to go and drink this beer. It's cold, it's 30 degrees outside, and I've sat here for 10 minutes, which is probably 10 minutes too long when you've got two kids. So I'll go and see what they're doing, and I'll get a bollocking off the wife. So happy weekend. Have a good weekend and I will see you all later.